Hi everyone, Mrs. is Milam to read chapter five of The Lemonade War. Chapter five, competition. Competition, rivalry in the marketplace. During that night at the Tresky's dinner was quiet, so the explosion that followed seemed especially loud. It was Jesse's turn to clear and scrape the dishes, Evan's turn to wash and stack. Evan looked at the pile of dirty plates on his left. Jesse was ahead. She was always ahead when it was her turn to clear, but tonight it felt like she was taunting him. To Evan, every plate scraping sounded like, keep up, can't keep up, can't keep up. Evan was scrubbing the casserole pan when Jesse stacked the last dirty dish by his elbow. Then she stuck her hand under the faucet to rinse without even saying, excuse me. And she shook her hands practically right in Evan's face and said, so how much money did you make? That was it. He couldn't hold it any longer. Why'd you do it, huh? Why'd you have to ruin the one thing I had going? For a second, Evan wasn't sure if he meant the lemonade stand or Megan Morarty. In a mixed up way, he meant both. And there was no way he was going to tell Jesse after paying back his mother for the four cans of lemonade, one can of grape juice, and one bottle of ginger ale. She'd been pretty irritated when she came downstairs from her office and there wasn't a single cold drink in the house. He had walked away with $2.11. On top of that, he was pretty sure Scott had kept the $5 bill they'd earned. Well, what was Evan supposed to do? Ask Scott to turn his pockets inside out? Evan hadn't kept track of sales, so he couldn't be sure. Why'd I do it? Why'd you do it? Why'd you invite the jerk over for a lemonade stand? Shouted Jesse. And how come you wouldn't let me play? You're the one who was mean. You're such a show off, said Evan. You always have to let everyone know that you're the smart one. I wasn't showing off. I was just trying to have a little fun. Is that against the law? You won't do a lemonade stand with me, then I won't do a lemonade stand with you. I'll do one with my friend Megan instead. You cannot be her friend. You cannot be her friend, shouted Evan. Why not? Because you're a little kid. You don't even belong in the fourth grade. And because you're just an annoying show-off pest and no one likes you. The words felt like disgusting spiders running out of his mouth. They were horrible, but it felt so good to be rid of them. Then Evan saw Jessie's lip tremble. Uh-oh. Jessie was a howler. She didn't cry often, and she didn't cry for long, but when she did it, it was loud. Mom would come down from her office. Evan would catch the blame. Unfair. But Jessie didn't lose it. Instead, she stood as tall as her runty height would allow and said, Megan likes me. She invited me over to her house tomorrow. We're going to make another lemonade stand and earn twice what we did today. Oh, that was it. She was going to ruin everything. Show him up right in front of Megan, even before the school year started. Make Megan think he was just some stupid loser who couldn't even beat out his baby sister at a lemonade stand. Evan boiled over. I wouldn't count on it, Juicy, he said. Jesse had hated that nickname, and Evan only used it when he had to. I'm going to have a lemonade stand every day until school starts, and I'm going to earn a hundred bucks by the end of summer, enough for an iPod. Oh, please, like you could even if you wanted to, said Jesse. Megan and I already made 12 bucks each today. We could make a hundred dollars like that. Jesse snapped her fingers. And then what, said Evan. You'd lock it up in your lockbox and save it till you were 50 years old. You're the biggest miser on the planet. Jesse stiffened up. Her mouth made a funny O. Oh. But then she put a hand on her hip and smirked at Evan. For your information, I'm going to make a $100 donation to charity. Evan snorted. Yeah, right. What charity? There was a long pause, and then Jesse said, as smooth as whipped cream, the Animal Rescue League. Megan and I talked about it today. You don't even like animals, said Evan. Everybody likes animals, shouted Jesse, and I'm going to give them a hundred dollars so you can't ever call me a miser again. I hope I never have to talk to you again, shouted Evan. Hey! 
A sharp voice called from the stairs. Mrs. Tresky had a pencil stuck in her hair and a worried look on her face. I could hear you two all the way up in the attic with the air conditioner on high. What's up? Evan looked at Jessie. Jessie looked at Evan. They had taken a vow, a spit vow. Ever since Dad had gone, they had vowed not to fr fight in front of Mom. It made her sad, sadder even than when Dad left. Nothing, said Evan. Nothing, said Jessie. Mrs. Tresky looked at the two of them. Come on, out with it. What were you two yelling about? It wasn't a fight, Mom, said Evan. We were just joking around. Yeah, said Jessie. We were goofing. Sorry, we got you out of your office. Mrs. Tresky looked at both of them with her laser eyes. Jessie hung the dish towel on the oven handle and fiddled with it until it was perfectly straight. Evan bent over the casserole pan and scrubbed as if his life depended on it. He scrubbed so hard his elbow bumped the fruit bowl. A cloud of fruit flies rose into the air and settled back down. Oh gosh, said Mrs. Tresky. Would you look at those fruit flies? Her shoulders slumped. All right, well, I'm going back up. Can you guys handle showers and reading and then I'll be down to tuck you in and turn off the lights? Sure, Mom, said Jessie. No problem, said Evan. Mrs. Tresky disappeared upstairs. Jessie turned to Evan at the sink. Let's make a bet, she said. Whoever earns $100 wins, and the loser has to give all their earnings to the winner. Evan shook his head. Not fair, he said. You've already got money saved up. That money doesn't count, said Jessie. We'll start with today's earnings, and it, it's all got to be from selling lemonade. No mowing lawns or sweeping out garages or anything else. Aw, uh, what if neither one of us makes a hundred, said Evan, not liking the sound of this deal. Then whoever makes the closest to a hundred wins. And even if we both make over a hundred, whoever makes the most money wins the bet. When do we count up the money, said Evan. Jessie thought about that. Sunday night, right before the fireworks. She looked straight at Evan. Huh? What do you say? Evan didn't like bets. He really wasn't into competition. He loved to play basketball and always gave it his all, but winning or losing, it didn't make much difference to him. He just liked to play. But this, this was different. He, it, this mattered. If he didn't beat Jesse at this bet, if he couldn't win against his little sister in a lemonade war, then Evan thought of the school year stretching in front of him. It was all over. He might as well just give up on everything right now. It's a bet. A hundred bucks by Sunday night. Winner takes all. He shook his wet hands over the sink, dried them on the dish towel, and gave Jesse his most menacing look. You better pray for mercy. See you next time.